One of the really important evaluations we do, and there are many of them, of course, looking at your eye health when we prepare for cataract surgery, is looking at the surface of the eye. And we spend a lot of time doing that because it's important for the quality of measurements we get for the implant, the artificial lens we're going to put into the eye at the time of cataract surgery, to replace the natural lens, which is the cataract. So we want to make sure that the ocular surface, the surface of the eye, is nice and healthy and is not dry. And the fact of the matter is that dry eye is the most common eye condition there is. In fact, in the population that has cataracts, most patients will have at least intermittent times that they have dry eye. And sometimes we'll see when a patient comes into our office, dryness on the surface of the eye that the patient didn't even know they had. And that's because if you are already compromised in your vision, you have a cataract, and you don't see so well anyway, you may not be seeing the visual effects of having some dryness on the surface. That's one thing. Secondly, you may not actually feel like it's that dry, um, especially if you can't recognize those changes in your vision. And if you're not feeling that, or you mistake the feeling of irritation, sandy feeling, burning even, sometimes even tearing as something other than dryness, those are actually the most common symptoms of dry eye. So if you're noticing fluctuations in your vision throughout the day, if you notice a sandy feeling, some redness, feeling like you have a foreign body in the eye or an eyelash in the eye, or even excessive tearing, those are all very, very common symptoms of dry eye. And if you have dryness prior to cataract surgery, having gone through the surgical process, having you know the, the small incision that's made in the cornea to get the cataract out, will actually make your dry eye worse for a period of time. And because we know that, into the post-operative regimen, we ask you to use lubricating drops. So a treatment for dry eye. The more often you use them, the better. They're kind of a thing that you just can't use too much. Your other medications, of course, use just according to the schedule. But your dry eye medication, the ocular lubricants, the artificial tears, in general, more is better with those.